being frank frank was always frank honesty is the best policy he said frank never lied to his schoolmates your freckles remind me of the big dipper he told dotty dotty pulled her hood over her face your singing is a kind of shaky frank told carol carol stop the way frank always told the truth to adults your breath smells funny he told his teacher miss zaroma she sent frank to the principal's office your topi looks like my pet weasel he told principal wiggins mr wiggins called frank's mom you wouldn't get so many wrinkles if you don't glare at me like that frank told his mom on the way home and by the way you are speeding and frank was always always honest with police officers yes officer he said she knew how far she was going i told her frank was very proud of being frank but other than police officers adults weren't as impressed with frank's honesty as he thought they should be you will have wrinkles one day too mom said rubbing on some lotion some things are better left unsaid said mr wiggins addressing his topi you don't have to say everything you're thinking said mr roma popping a mint in her mouth frank's schoolmate weren't impressed either my freckles do not look like the big dipper dotty said and my mother says i shouldn't listen to you i'm still going to sing in the talent show in the school carnival tomorrow but i'm not going to ride the ferris wheel with you carol told frank but we always ride the ferris wheel together frank whispered everyone was upset and now frank wasn't so happy either frank clipped his toenails and alphabetized his book collection but it didn't feel any better so he walked down the block to grandpa's house grandpa ernest was on the porch clipping his toenails and coming he yelled frank ducked what's up frank grandpa said everyone is mad at me for being frank i'm not sure honesty is the best policy anymore that used to happen to me too said grandpa mrs peacock walked by and straightened her massive hat it's new do you like it ernest frank thought that hat looked like a flower store on mrs peacock's head well grandpa said there are an awful lots of flowers up there but my favorite is the purple one in the middle thank you mrs peacock beamed total ooh frank couldn't believe his ears grandpa you lied no frank i told the truth i really do like the purple flowers best i talked about the good things on her hat instead of the not so good things grandpa's best friend mr pickles pulled up in his truck try this relish he called handing grandpa a jar and a spoon i've got a cold and can't taste a thing grandpa scooped a spoonful of relish into his mouth his nose twitched his eyes watered his hair stood on end give it to me straight ernest said mr pickles i can't sell it if it's not good grandpa wiped his eyes more sugar less pepper mr pickles grinned and shook grandpa's head back to the drawing board thanks for your help grandpa he didn't get mad at you that's right grandpa drank some water he asked me for the truth and i gave it to him frank sighed so i shouldn't give the truth unless someone asks for it 
You should always give people the truth, Grandpa said. You just have to find the right way to serve it. The next afternoon at the school carnival, when Miss Zaroma laughed like a horse, Fred said, You tell great jokes! When Mr. Wiggins did a weird dance, Frank said, Impressive spin, sir! When Frank saw Dottie, he said, I like dots better than squares. And when Carol sang, Frank said, You sure can hit those high notes. Carol smiled and Frank, Dottie and I are going to ride the Ferris wheel. Want to come? On the way home, Frank gave his mom a poem he wrote for her. Mom, your hair looks nice today. I only see a little gray. And when she smiled, Frank decided not to mention the wrinkles around the corners of her mouth. The next day, when Frank helped Grandpa in his garden, Mrs. Peacock stopped by again. You are right, she said to Grandpa. That other heart had too many flowers. Just then, Mr. Pickles arrived with a new jar of relish for Grandpa to try. Excuse me a moment, Grandpa said to Mrs. Peacock. So, what do you think of my heart? Mrs. Peacock asked. But this time, she wasn't asking Grandpa, she was asking Frank. Frank looked at Grandpa on the porch with Mr. Pickles. Grandpa was taking another spoonful of relish and he wasn't drinking any water. Frank knew just what to say. I've never seen a hat like that before. It must be one of a kind. Thank you, Mrs. Peacock beamed. Toodle! So how is it being Frank today? Grandpa asked. Well, Grandpa, I still think honesty is the best policy, said Frank. But now I know it's best served with more sugar. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to like and subscribe below.